Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Our Sweet Hideout. I just wanted to give you a little update what's going on here, what we've been up to lately and something very exciting to announce. So we were really busy the last couple of weeks with commercial projects and also we enjoyed that amazing New Zealand summer. Now it's getting a little colder and we have something very exciting coming up, another trip. And yes, we will be going overseas we will be going to Asia. But which country exactly, we will tell you later on. So stay tuned and make sure you follow our Instagram and Facebook for any updates. And today, what are we doing in this video? Today, we will pack our suitcases. Mark will start, will show you how, how he packs his suitcase and how he packs his backpack with all his electronic gear what we use to film our videos while we are traveling let's dive right into it okay so here we are i am going to be the first one to start to show you guys what's in my backpack and what's in my luggage this is what i've been traveling for the last four years it's a nice small check-in luggage usually you can probably fit 20 kgs in here when i first met karina this is what i've been uh, using but now we've got some new merch not really a merch just say uh, this is a new product a new brand that we're working with this is called Explorer they're actually a local brand here in Tauranga um, and what I can say is that we're very very excited to use this um, Karina will show you her set as well as she's got gifted one but let's go straight into it and show you guys what's gonna go in here before we actually pack what I'm packing in here this is where it's all at at the moment but before I get into here let me show you guys my backpack first because this is a real quick one you already know that when you're traveling overseas this is kind of like your travel bag but if you're a photographer and videographer it is also your camera bag so we are aware that most places it's a 7 kg carry-on which you take with you so we're limited to your items that you take unfortunately I can't just fit anything in here but this is what I got here I've got the Mavic 2 Pro controller we got two GoPros that we share so the GoPro here are 9 and 10 and then a few lenses that I like and the camera is actually what's recording this video right now so we got batteries another very important item which is the universal um, adapter plenty of memory cards because you can never have enough and obviously your computer where you do all your work definitely a tool and probably one of these and a power bag something that you that keeps you charged up on the go and whatever fits in the rest kind of like your hoodie and stuff this is where you put your stuff passports your mask and so on but let's go straight into this this is the first time I'm opening the Luna Air 2 very very excited because it's quite big but whoops there's another one inside there uh, this is the carry-on that I got I think it's the 56 centimeter one so it's nice and cute um, but let's leave it there because this is the one I'm taking um, so it's plenty but before I show you guys what's going in here let me just talk about the features here so this is the main compartment over here um, so you've got your straps here nice and spacey in fact I think this is where most of my folks will be going you've got a few dividers in here um, so you can kind of put a few things lots of compartments in here you've got another one as well which is perfect for dividing certain items and then another one of these which is perfect so this is a general items that I will take when I'm traveling over to where we are going which you'll find out but to give you a hint it's in Asia somewhere hot sometimes quite tropical or and you won't need much of your winter clothes depending on the season so let's just talk about what I'm bringing so one is a packable bag I love to carry this because as you see my wander bag my camera bag is too heavy to take and when I'm just doing for a day trip going on a scooter or something then a packable bag is perfect so I always take one with me um, even though you're going to a hot country it's very very important that you take one sort of jersey or jacket because it does get quite cold in the plane or sometimes it gets really cold in the morning so I would suggest always pack one especially when you come back to New Zealand and it's winter you will definitely need one um, another packable bag I guess you can never have much since they're so small um, now let's talk about clothing another big hack that most people underestimate is 
packable bags. And packable bags are very handy because it compresses your clothes to even smaller areas. So when you look at here, that you can easily just slide this like that here and then that. And the good thing about this is I'm not going to talk to you guys how much clothes I brought. But, um, but just the fact that you know you can organize that so these are all my uh, shirts. My button up shirts for example. Here are my socks underwear or pants whatever this is all where it goes enough to last me for seven days as long as you're packing for like a weekly basis that your clothes could last you for a week you'll be able to survive and since we're going somewhere quite warm as i say i don't have packable bags for this because i i bring a lot of shorts especially where we're going which is very exciting hopefully it's not a giveaway where we're going but i'm showing you guys now i bought a few everyday shorts some uh swimwear clothing and casual clothes um, so definitely really really cool i decided that during the pandemic time that's also quite important to carry one of these which is like a covid nasal swab test or should i say a rapid test which is sometimes you probably don't need it but it saves you some money if you already have one at home bring some a few singlets um, this is actually my drone bag, so I like to carry this just in case I'm not carrying my big bag just to protect it, but this is what I use. I use all, this is all our medicines here. So Panadol, uh, you know, if you get dizzy, anti-diarrhea, <laughs> and um, just for sore throats. So all the meds are actually here. Um, tripod, <laughs> tripod. I mean, if you weren't a photographer or a videographer, you can get away with this, but you know, understand why I need a bigger luggage, just because I carry more for our content, which is important. Um, and over here, this is a dry bag. If you don't know what it is, it's a bag that you, that you put your stuff in it, especially when you're doing water activities like the beach. It keeps everything dry. You just put everything in here, fold it a few times, close it, and it's kind of like a backpack. Now, you don't need this, but if you do do a lot of water activities, I would suggest getting one of these or just purchase one. But since I have one, I'm going to take it. Um, we're almost there. Um, this, this is my tech pouch. Karina won't have one of these, but I'll have one. And sadly, this one fit in my luggage, uh, sorry, my backpack, just because my backpack is already heavy. As you can see, it's all electronics. But this is just all my USB, more chargers, my mics and other tools that I will need when I'm traveling. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be carrying my drone here as well. There's a specific new drone I'm bringing called the FPV. So it's gonna go in here because I have no space there. And it gets really tricky when you're traveling with electronics in your luggage. So I'm gonna pack this up really, really well. This is not how to pack your luggage clean, <laughs> but I'm just telling you what I'm bringing as a male person to travel you just need to back up a pair of shorts or more some jandal slippers you definitely need one of those but remember don't panic if you're going to asia because you can always buy it and to cut your costs buy your little things here buy enough if you don't bring enough shirts you can always buy it so it's always always good but don't forget your toiletry which i currently don't have in here so just bring enough to last you for the whole trip but yeah Going to, going to Asia is a very, very easy task because you don't need much. And if you're not a photographer, as I say, or a videographer, then you'll have a lot of luggage. But I'm very excited. I'm gonna pass you guys on to Karina right now and show you guys what sort of clothes that she's packed because I'm sure she's got more to talk about. All right, let's go. Okay guys, so now it's my turn. I will also start with the Wandered backpack, which I will be bringing. Since I'm a photographer, it's also my photography bag and I will tell you now what's inside. So if you have a look over here, so I also bring my MacBook um, to work on. I have my camera. I had a hard time deciding um, which camera lens I will bring, but I narrowed it down to three lenses, one 35 millimeter, one 85 millimeter, and one 75 to 300 millimeter, which I will share with Mark because Mike has an adapter, so he can use it for his GH5 as well. So we have a, a, a charger for my camera. We have some batteries for my cameras. 
we have the travel adapter as well, something to clean the camera. Um, then I have this old beautiful <laughs> camera I just purchased, which is a film camera. And it's a Practica MTL3, which was made in Germany. <laughs> um, it was made in the DDR. Um, yeah, a lot of history back then. So then I have a charger for my phone. I have film for my film camera. I bought three um, color film, 45, uh, 35 millimeter film and one um, black and white film. I will have one toothbrush in my Wonder and I will have one in my big one, in my big luggage. And hard drives, here the adapter for the hard drive. Yeah, that's pretty much what's inside my Wonder and I hope it's under 7 kg. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is my Luna Air 2 luggage in the color baby uh, powder blue, sorry, not baby blue, but yeah, it's really nice. I really love it and I can't wait to travel with it. Alright, so um, the suitcase comes with a TSA lock, how you can see here. I really love that they have like two compounds on, the, on, the, on both sides and that you can close it so it doesn't fall apart if you open it. And now, yes. I see I already packed a lot of clothes, how you can see. <laughs> I am also using those um, packing cubes. Here, for example, is my underwear and my socks at the moment. Um, I still need to get some bigger ones for some dresses I will bring. But um, yeah, this is the biggest one I have at the moment, so there will be tops inside. And yeah, all right, a lot of clothing. <laughs> it's a little messy, but I will I'll fix it up. So one travel hack I wanna show you guys <laughs> is this thing here. It's, a, it's an empty pillowcase. You use an empty pillowcase. And what's inside, I will show you. If I can open it. Ta -ta. Bikinis. So I packed a lot of bikinis. I probably have to leave some at home <laughs> because it's too many, it's quite heavy. Don't expect that, that to be that heavy. But this is now my carry-on one piece, which you can carry with you and you can use it as a pillow in an airplane and they can't really tell you to weigh it or something because it's your one piece carry-on so that's one travel hack how you can fit more and bring more the only thing is you have to carry it the whole time um yeah all right then I have one little book where I have notes also for work because I'm managing a few accounts for work and I have it on my phone but also in a book so just in case my phone gets stolen or it breaks then I have it in my book all the information so this is my um, makeup bag but then we have here um, some cosmetics like a day cream, a night cream, an oil for my hair, um, a, a file for my nails, very important because sometimes they just break and then it's always good to have a file. Some sun cream, uh, sun, sun block, uh, yeah. All right, that's this one. Then I have here um, some medical stuff. Got this one just in case we get COVID or something so we can see if we have a fever or not. Then I have this really cool thing, I don't know if you know that, but it's for um, bites, for insect bites. If you get bitten by mosquitoes, it just gets really hot and you can use it and you press it on your bite and then it's not itchy anymore and it's really funny and it works but it really hurts <laughs> so yeah that's about this also some um, 
yeah, ibuprofen and so on. But Mark is carrying most of the medical stuff, so I can't lose him. Otherwise, I don't have tablets <laughs> for me. All right, then this one is really handy. I got it in Kmart for six bucks. It comes with um, a few of those. And this is all my shampoo and conditioner and stuff for my hair. Whoa, oh gosh, okay. <laughs> Okay, then this one is my hairbrush because, um, yeah, it's really small, it's really nice, it's a tangle type teaser, <laughs> tangle teaser, <laughs> and yeah, I love it. Oh, it comes with me. But then I have some sunglasses here, I have one blue light glasses, um, two cheap ones, and then one ray band, like, um, yeah, for better occasions, whatever. Um, then this one here is for traveling, it's like a neck pillow for your neck. You can blow it up in the airplane and then you can use it normally and it's super soft and it's really cool. And it goes, you can pack it like really small. Then we have a razor in here and um, blades. We have the not a toothbrush I told you about and then we have my jewelry which I packed in those jewelry boxes we have like bigger jewelry stuff and rings and like all the small stuff also some hair ties um, cotton buds and um, makeup remover yeah, and then I have here one little handbag I will bring. That's the only one I will bring because I probably will purchase some in Asia. That's the plan and that's why I can't bring any more. <laughs> because I need still uh, space in my luggage. But I will bring this one here, which doesn't take much space. And it's perfect for if you just go to the beach or you go grocery shopping or whatever. All right, and then here, just a small one. <laughs> yeah, so this is just stuff which didn't fit in my other ones. But it's, yeah, it's sun cream, perfume, um, some nail polish. Yeah, not super important, but always good to have. I mean, sun cream is very important in Asia. <laughs> Don't forget this one. <laughs> And apparently it's really expensive over there as well. Or like from my memory I can remember it was quite expensive. So yeah, just bring it. Yes, and I will also bring a hair straightener. Not that I need to straighten my hair, but um, for curling them. And yeah, those are my one of my shoes. And then I will bring another one pair of slippers. And I will wear um, some sneakers for the plane and that are the only shoes I will bring. And I will probably end up buying one pair of shoe, <laughs> shoes in Asia. So most of the clothes will be like shorts, t-shirts, tops, dresses. I will not bring any rain jackets or like any warm clothes because we will go to Asia so you will not need it. And it will be also dry season when we go to these countries. So yeah, we don't need much like stuff like raincoats and you can always buy cheap raincoats as well so that's just a guide for you what or it's pretty much what we bring in our suitcases some people overpack maybe I overpack you can comment if you're the same or if you're more like Mark and really just bring the, the things you need like um, I always have things I could need <laughs> and if you like this video and found it interesting what we bring on our travels then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the next video because in the next video we will reveal where we're gonna go.